Welcome back to Ceramics One. This is your first video on how to center your clay. This is an essential skill you really can't move on until you learn how to center clay. So you might want to watch this video at least once if not twice or three times to really get a handle on what you need to do in order to center your clay. Before you get started make sure that you've got your bucket three quarters of the way full of water. Lots of water, you're going to need lots of water. Your throwing sponge, you don't really need it, but you should have your wooden rib, and you will need it, and you should have your wire cutter so that you can get your clay off the wheel when you're done. Next, you're gonna start with a one pound lump of clay. Remember, this is four pounds, so it's a little bit bigger just so you can see my hands as I work. You should always wedge your clay really, really well so you don't have any air bubbles. I like to then take my clay and kind of pat it into a ball so that there's no, uh, awkward, weird shape on the bottom so that it secures nicely to the wheel head, okay? Now, before we get started, you've wedged your clay. Make sure that your wheel is going the right way for you. If you're right-handed, it should be going clock or counterclockwise. If you're left-handed, it should be going clockwise. Make sure you've got that in uh, to start with. Then, there's basically two principles that you need to know. Coning, which is bringing the clay up, this aligns the platelets of the clay so that they are more flexible and plastic. And then compressing the clay back into the center, which again, compresses the clay down, gets rid of any air bubbles, smooths the clay out, and puts it into center so you can properly throw a pot, okay? Now, before that, there's a couple other little things that you're gonna need to know. And I'm gonna go over these steps in class as we work. First step, smack the chunk of clay down into the center. I see kids go like this and set their clay down and then their clay is off center before they even get started and you'll never get that ball of clay centered, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna put it right in the center and then before you even turn your wheel on, press down with your hands and squish that ball of clay onto the wheel head. The more you do this, and the more you, you pay attention to centering this ball of clay in the middle at the beginning, the better off you're gonna be long term. Now if I turn this wheel on, you can see it's almost already centered and I haven't even done anything yet. So step one, squish your ball of clay onto the wheel head. Step two, take some water on your finger and just smooth the bottom of that clay ball so that it's securely fastened to the wheel head. The biggest mistake I see with kids is that they throw this ball of clay on the wheel, a wet wheel head, and your clay is just gonna go and slide right off. So make sure your wheel head is dry, nice and dry. If you're starting over, clean your wheel head off, dry your wheel head off, and then put your clay on. Okay, now that we've got this piece of clay on here and we've uh, patted it down and we've secured it to the wheel head. Now we can start our throwing process. Now this wheel can go really fast. This is what I call too fast. This is about centering speed right here. You want it to be pretty fast. There's medium and then slower. Medium for opening, slower for shaping, which we'll get to later. But right now what you need to think of is centering speed. So here's our centering speed. I'm gonna take my foot off of the pedal and leave it at centering speed. Now, there are a million different ways to center. All right, if you go on to YouTube after you get done watching this way, this video, you'll find a hundred different ways to center. The two principles are pushing down and in to force the clay up for coning. Brace position, put your elbows onto the inside of your thighs so that you're not wiggling around. The biggest mistake I see is kids having their elbows up and they can't force their shoulders to control that much weight. So brace your elbows and lean in. As you lean in, you're bringing the clay from the base up to the top, okay? I like to lean in with my left hand and give counter pressure with my right hand to pull up. So I'm always gonna be saying to you, give pressure and receive pressure when I'm doing centering, when I'm doing pulling, when we're doing everything. I'm gonna give pressure with my left hand and receive with my right hand and pull that clay right up into the cone like that. Now, what a lot of kids do is they don't use enough water. Don't be afraid to use too much water. 
All right, I'm gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna cone like that and leave a nice tall cone. Yours doesn't have to be this tall because you'll have less clay than me. Now what I'm gonna do is compress. My left hand's gonna go on top. My right hand from behind. I'm gonna close my right hand in, left hand over the top. Then as I press down, I'm pressing the clay right here. And I like to think of the number six right here on my palm. The clay is gonna travel right out along my thumb along that number six. Again, if your clay gets wet, it's really hard to center. So I'm gonna press down and as I'm pressing down, I'm using the pad of my hand here on just a little bit of an angle to press it down, okay? I press that down and as I press down, I'm catching it with my right hand this one, and I'm catching it and making sure that it can't go anywhere. Now, I've got the clay squished back down and I've got a little ridge right here at the edge. You can kind of see my finger underneath there. That clay is still kind of uncentered. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these fingers from the top and smooth that clay around the edge. Meanwhile, holding my left hand really still. All right, so again, the principles are coning and compressing. Pushing in with your left hand, giving pressure with your right hand and countering that pressure. So here you go, a little faster. I'm gonna cone that clay up into the center and put my hand over the top so that I get a nice smooth top here. Then I'm gonna add more water. I'm gonna hold my hand left hand on top, right hand around the side, and I'm gonna compress that clay down, okay? Gonna to continue to press that clay down and catching it with my right and my left hand, and then taking my hand down to the bottom, okay? Now this clay is not on center. You can see, because if I take this needle tool and hold it here, and hold it really still, it's only hitting that one side of the clay. You can see that. So you wanna check for center every time you're done until you feel confident that you know what on center is. So again, here's centering. A little faster. And one of the things that you're gonna run into is eventually you'll find an air bubble somewhere in your clay. And that air bubble is gonna throw your clay off center and I'll come around to you and I'll tell you what it is and I'll help you fix it, okay? But this clay now is centered, okay? You shouldn't see any wiggle on it. If I hold this needle tool up to it, it's not gonna bump, it's nice and even on each side, okay? And that's what centered should look like. Now, a couple of things that I see kids do wrong. This is the what not to do. Kids will start centering like this and they'll lift straight up and I don't even really know how they do it at this point but they'll get a big volcano like this. They've got a big opening in the top. And then what they do is they're like, oops, I'm not supposed to have that. And they take it and they close it over and they've got this humongous air bubble inside of their clay. And after that, it's, it's, it's a no game. You can't fix that. So what you need to do, if you ever get this volcano syndrome, press it down and take out that hole. Press this clay back in and get rid of that hole. That's the biggest, biggest problem that I see with kids is they've got that volcano, okay? So if you get a volcano, I call it volcano syndrome because it's kind of like a disease. It kind of keeps happening until you figure out what to do to fix it. So fix that volcano syndrome, okay? That is the biggest problem that I see. Second biggest problem I see is kids who don't press down hard enough right at the beginning and they get a thing that looks like this. I'm gonna clean this wheel off so you can see it. Okay, they've got this big lump of clay down here that's off center and it's like on the wheel head and it just, they're fighting against this chunk of clay down here and they can't center the top piece of the clay because they've got this chunk down here. So, how to remove that? Take your thumb, press it in and get all that junk away. Take that leftover junk that you've just sliced off your wheel head. And now you can start over again. Then what I recommend is using the back of your hand here 
and really gouging it down into the wheel head to get that clay up. And here's what it looks like. I'm gonna go like that, and I'm gonna get that clay that's down here raised up. That's the solution for that problem, okay? Now, the last piece that I'll see kids do is your hands should look something like this. They should be clean. I mean, there should be a little bit of clay on them, but they should be a little bit watery, okay? The biggest problem that I see with, or the third biggest problem I see is kids don't get enough water and they're trying to cone like this, and as they're coning, they cut too much off, and there's too much friction between their hands, and they just take the head right off of there. And they're like, oops, now I have this little teeny tiny piece of clay with no top on it, okay? So, three biggest problems. Volcano syndrome, the little extra lump that's down on the wheel head over here, and three, not enough water. Those are the biggest problems I see in all, of, um, in all of Ceramics 1, okay? So, that was your, tur your tutorial on centering. When we talk about centering on first day of class, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Those questions are gonna be, what are the three biggest problems? We already went over the answer for that. The other problem is, the other questions I'm gonna ask you, how do you clean off the wheel head with your thumb? The other problem I'm going to, or question I'm going to ask you is what are the main concepts of how to center? Those are coning, moving the clay upwards, and compressing, pushing the clay back down. Okay? Those are the essentials for centering. I'm going to ask you if there's a right way and a wrong way. The answer is there's a million different ways to do it as long as it's centered. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in class.